Hello, hello, how you doing? This is the Morning Gardener Show. I, I look like my lips are moving slower than that my mouth is. But uh, we'll, we'll keep on going forward. Uh, what, what I'm doing this morning is, uh, is something that I think all of you should maybe think about. I'm using a regular, uh, this is a, uh, it's old. I got a lot of use out of this thing. Actually trying to replace it. This is a soldering pen. And what I'm doing with this soldering pen is I'm taking ordinary cups like these here and creating a cup that'll do a much better job when you put your uh, seeds into it. Because this year, uh, you want to grow bigger, stronger, better seedlings. Because you're going to grow massive amounts of food. Remember, we talked about that on the last show. Massive amounts of food. So what I'm doing with this little thing here is I'm poking holes in. I can't show you now because it's... It's so close to, uh, the cord is too short. And I go all the way around the pot and I poke holes in it. Now what that will allow to happen is that the plants will develop uh, what we call pruned off roots. It will, it will air uh, prune itself, which causes multiple, multiple development of roots. Lots of roots development. And that's what you're looking for to make uh, even stronger uh, seedlings. Now, seedlings is the, one of the very keys to your garden actually having a good, strong start. start is to have the, the uh, best seedlings you can put in the ground. Start with a great plant and with a great product. Um, now, this, this cup here has multiple holes in it. It looks crazy. I understand that it does. It looks crazy. But those holes didn't cost anything for me to make them. And it makes a better pot. And that pot will, uh, we'll take another one here and do it. And look how quick you can do these things. Um, I would recommend if you're under the age of 18, you have your parents' permission, before you plug up anything in the house, trying to burn some pot. So, so get your parents' permission, definitely. So I'm making holes in here. And just a regular cheap um, soldering pan. What I'm using, nothing fancy, nothing real uh power for anything it's a regular cheap four dollar soldering pen purchased at walmart or anywhere anywhere really so i'm putting holes in the pot all the way around and what that's going to do is make a pot see how quick i made that so i put the soil in here i put the seed on top bada boom bada bang it's done and when the, when the roots come down Instead of spiraling around in the in the pot, it's going to go towards one of those holes and air prune off, and it's going to send multiple multiple uh, roots uh, to that direction, and they'll all be air pruned. So I'm going to do another one, and the reason why I'm doing these is I'm trying to get everybody in on this because all you're doing is growing a better uh, seedling. Can you do this with harder, more thicker plastic pots? Yes, you can. You don't have to use this one here. This type of pot. You can use a thicker one. It's going to take longer. Plus, they'll be the type of pots you'll be able to wash and reuse because uh, the holes will be permanent. And look at that. Oh, we got, we got, I almost forgot the other side here. These, I mean, this is really done really, really quick. Air pruning. Air pruning. Air pruning. Air pruning. And I did close to 30 of these in no time flat, and I'm still rolling because I have a number of uh, pots to make. Now, this will be for uh, plants like tomato. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you. This will be for the tomato plants, pepper plants, uh, watermelon plants, uh, whatever. And it's going to create a beautiful, beautiful pot. I mean, a beautiful, beautiful set of roots. Put them in the ground, they grab onto the ground a lot quicker, pull in more nutrients, pull in more uh, food because they have the, the, the roots to support the plant. And I love this. There's another one. See? And it don't take any time to make these. So I dropped that one to the floor. I'm not trying to uh, stack them neat right now. I'm not trying to do that. What I'm trying to do 
is get through this and make as many of these pots as possible because soon it will be growing season here in zone 7b i want to grow the best seedlings uh that i can grow um i want to have the best and the way to do that is to find out all kind of shortcuts on a budget that you can do to definitely make a better plant make better soil and that's going to be the key better soil uh hey y'all that's what she says hey y'all i've never air prone or seen it done i'll try thanks for showing please let me tell you something uh garden city you will not regret it because i have done this before um kind of didn't think it was all that important to put out there and then i saw uh some of my old videos i was looking at them and i saw how many roots i had on these plants and i said listen you need to put that out there so they can get the idea so you're getting information from me i get information from you that's how it works i put the information out there that's what makes me a better gardener is that i'm willing to work with anyone and and they work with me and they give me information. There were a number of gardeners yesterday that put out so much information that I had to actually go back and 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 actually go through that information. Information that I needed for a very long time. And they broke it down and put it out there. And, and now I'm putting this out there because when you grow your seedlings, sure, you can grow them in a regular pot and they'll grow. Um, the regular way. Look at that. Got a slightly bigger hole there in one of them, but it doesn't even matter. But look at this. All these holes are around here because uh, they're going to be, they're going to allow my plants to air prune. Now, another way of air pruning is that you go to this website, you buy these expensive little bags, and you put your plants in there. They got them uh, three, uh, three inches around, five, seven, ten. They go all the way up, all the way up. And those bags will cost you some money. Another way of growing plants is to put some 50-50 uh, mix of, of compost and uh, uh, topsoil into a Walmart, those Walmart cloth bags. And you mix up your, your soil mix and you put in all your fertilizer and everything. And then you set your plant down in there, dig a small hole through the top, put your plant inside that Walmart bag, water it in, and you will see some crazy results from that as well. Um, there may be some videos out if you type in uh, growing in Walmart bag, because I have some videos out on my channel that show, and I, and I was amazed. I grew corn, peppers, uh, I grew uh, cucumbers, everything in those bags. And I think they last about one, maybe two years. Um, but you will have to keep them water but they will they will cause your plants to grow crazy 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 number of roots crazy number of roots now these pots are actually by me putting these holes in these pots they're actually better pots than they, than they were when they came here and if the company thought this was a valuable way of doing it they would actually produce these cups like this They would produce the cups like that. They would say, no, we got to have these holes in there because we're going to have a better um, seedling pot. But they're stuck with the old way of doing things. Oh, this one I'm using right here. Rig regular old cheap soldering pen. I got mine angled to the side. I did that years ago because it helped me when I'm working to actually angle it on my work. Yeah. So this old cheap side of town, I think like four dollars, maybe three dollars. Um, you don't need the big powerful one, but you if that's all you have, then use it. Use it. I'm not telling anybody to go out and buy anything because you don't need to keep running out buying stuff, clutter up your house with all kind of stuff that you don't need. Um but you make these holes on all four sides. Let me show you, because I just made one. Um, I'm making it now actually. I, I, the only way I can make it is 
my core is kind of short. I would have it up here to be doing this little number here yeah. and putting holes in. Look how fast it makes holes. Look at that. Oh, I think you can't see it. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can get this up there. Okay. I'm going to bring the whole cord up here. See if I can set this up here. Okay. All right. Cup. Iron. And it makes the hole relatively fast. That's it. I'm like, let me keep it in, in focus where well, you can see it. Okay, let's see. And those are permanent holes in the container. All four sides are done. Let's do one more like that. So you can see it. All right. Let's see if that's in the camera shot. And I'm trying to choose a pattern. Like I go up one aisle and down the next aisle. And, but I go, try to go around the bottom, make sure the bottom is covered. Got to stay in front of the camera. I'm not used to doing this in front of the camera. And don't, don't hit your finger on the other side. Don't hit your finger on the other side. This, this iron is hot. Okay, that's it. I'll hold up there because that's kind of hard working with that. But um, I'm just putting that up there because I want to get the information out and let everybody see it. And that's how it's done. And like I said earlier, for all the kids out there, ask your parents first. I went through over 40 pots in no time. Over 40 pots in no time. So I want these plants, when I start shooting videos of these plants that I'm doing, I want people to see every little step I took to get to where I am. And they'll look at this and say, oh my God, he got holes in this pot. I wonder what chewed these holes in there. No, not the holes. I mean, being chewed in there, it's just that I'm using a hot iron to poke these holes in there. Look at that. I don't have many more to go. I have maybe uh, eight more to go. I did close to 40 of them. So, I'm all but skip my finger. Oh, I don't think, think you hit your finger on the, on the other side. No, no, it's just... Um, just, just do it real slow at first until you get the hang of it, and then you'll say, okay. Or you put a rubber, rubber, uh, put a leather glove on the other side, and you, you're, you're pretty safe. But see, I've been, I've been doing over 40 of them, and I haven't hit my finger yet. And, uh, and I'm almost finished. I hold it up around the, the top rim, around the top rim, that's what I'm holding it. I hope nobody saw that, that these pots haven't even cleaned out from last year. I live a busy life. These pots are good. And uh, you're supposed to clean them out with a little bit of water and a uh, slight bit of bleach. That'll help uh, the pot be safer for uh, seedlings. But I live under the premise that the seedling is that weak. And it was meant to be here. So I don't do what most gardeners do and try to sugarcoat anything. Because it means that to them it means they fail. So they're supposed to be the gardener. Uh, some of them, they, everything they grow is perfect. Nothing, nothing dies. They didn't make a mistake. There's nothing that they didn't know. So that's, that's something I don't do. That makes you a weak gardener when you when you want to admit that you make some mistakes and that some plants die or that, or even that there's some things about plants that you don't know. Of course, there are things you don't know. This is, you talk about plants, you talk about a whole different new world, uh, and it's just it's just a beautiful thing. I am king of mistakes. You are king of mistakes. That only tells me that you're great at what you do. That's what it means. But anyone who makes the mistake. And keep trying. That simply means that they don't got good at it. That's all that means. 
a lot of what holds us back in the world today is that we hate to make mistakes. We hate to make mistakes and don't and they don't realize that mistakes are just a way of learning. Now if you keep repeating over and over and over and over the exact identical mistake, then you might want to try another line of work. Ah, oh, let's see. Good afternoon, all green wizard. Now that uh, is an interesting name. I wonder if this person gardened. Um, but we're all welcome here in this room. We are all welcome here. I have eight people up there, and I got one thumbs up. Um, I said to myself, well, if I was doing a really good job, I'd see a lot more thumbs up on there. But this might not be any of my best work. Oh, thank you for the thumbs up. <laughs> Look at that. Somebody hit that. They hit that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Wait a minute. The day is Saturday. I started this show a lot earlier than I said I was going to do. Because I got I got excited. And I said, I said I'm going to start the show at 5 o'clock. Oh, the day is Friday. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Morning Gardner slipping. No, I'm not slipping. I forgot I called off the day uh work. I called out because you know, we're doing a lot of doubles lately, so I said I, I got to I got to call out. I'm burnt out. I don't do my best work when I'm burned out. And so this is I gotta tell you folks. This is a, uh, uh, see, uh, what is this? What's this thing called? Oh, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, yes, blah, blah, blah. That's it. it's right. I'm glad somebody out there, a guard city, looked out for me and told me, no, the day is right. I said, I appreciate that. Thank you. Look at that. Only two more to go, folks. That means I went through 48 cups in no time flat. Because at first when I showed this pen, when I first started doing it, I said, this is going to be tough. I'm going to have to drill. I'm going to have to put holes in it slowly, slowly. But now I have some downstairs in the in the grow room. I think they're going to be difficult to do because they're thicker. They are thicker. Now, I'm going to try it. Not today. Because I did 48. It's enough. It's enough. I don't want to do any more. This is beginning to get boring. Um, will you, what's it, will you, oh, I burn. Um, I, 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 I was going to do that. I was going to do that, but I said, no, I don't want to put two together and all that because I think what's going to happen is they're going to get stuck together and I'm going to say, God, I don't believe this. Um, you can give it a try, but, um, I just didn't. I said, no, I don't want to do that. I was going to put as many, stack them together as many as I can get together and put multiple holes in it. But somebody out there is going to do that because they can jump and see can I do this quicker. And it might work because I'm looking here. It's not creating much residue on the, on the, uh, on the underside of the hole that could stick to another cup. But I got to tell you, this is therapeutic. You almost don't want to stop doing it. I'm gonna do it one more time. Let me see if I get this iron up here. This cord is short. Hopefully, the one you buy or the one you have, the cord is not the short. See, I replaced this cord on it, so you know it's short. Okay. In, boom, 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 boom. In, 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 in. That's it. Last one. So get a good look at this, folks. Are you looking? Are you getting a good look? There you go. I'm going to try to keep this in front of the camera. Got to remember to hold it up, keep it in front of the camera. And that's it. That's stuff. It's just, and it's a regular cheap pen, which means it's about 
few watts, you know, it's not real strong. And one more wall, that's the other wall. I think I made a really big hole there. Yeah, there you go, it's no big deal. Now, I, I was thinking about using a hole punch, but the hole punch jaw is not big enough to do the whole side. I'm just finishing up the last wall. Now, don't let this fall on your carpet or anything like that because it will make a, make a black hole quick right in your carpet. And I was lucky enough uh, not to do that. And then I put it on, I laid on something metal, like a, a glass or a metal ashtray. And you have, let me see how many I have here. All holes. And these are going to be my, my, my pots for this, this year. All holes. Done right in front of you live on the Morning Gardener show. There you go. Not pretty, but effective. Not pretty. Oh, not pretty, but effective. These are effective ways of growing plants by allowing as much air to get to those roots as possible. This is how you do it, folks. This didn't cost me anything. This didn't cost me anything. And I have a better pot than I had originally. And these are repurposed pots. These are not brand new pots. I have brand new pots downstairs. I have tons of them. But these are the ones I'm going to use uh, to create my great, my beautiful, strong plant. That's what I'm going to do. And that's how you do it, folks. You find a better mousetrap and you use it. We want to build better plants so that we can grow better food. But I, as, like I said before, I'm still concerned about those larger pots. These are five inch plastic pots. They're round shaped. And these are uh, pots that will, uh, you know, be able to definitely uh, you put the soil in and it's just going to be a beautiful thing. Now, if this tool works like it does with these, and it's just a little slower, I'll, I'll be able to um, do the round ones. But if not, I'll just get a more powerful uh, soldering uh, pen and, and do it like that. This is a soldering pen, by the way. And that will make holes in the bigger pots quicker. And once you, once you build bigger and stronger roots, Folks, you're off and running. You're off and running. You don't play around with the better roots you can build. It's like when you it's like when you do your soil. If you do your soil in such a way that the um, the soil is, is is lighter and easier, you know, to get through the root foot to get through, instead of having a, a thick clay like I have, I have I have clay um, and so what I do to the clay is I build a larger hole, larger than the actual plant. The plant is, uh, let's say, I want it twice the size of the, the root ball, or, or larger. Uh, and then I put in there a mixture of compost and also the natural native soil. But I use more of the compost because I want, I want, the biology in that area where those roots are to get all stirred up and come in that area and be feeding on that manure. That's what I want. Then I'm going to use another method, uh, which when I do my chop and drop, I'll lay those around the base of those plants. Yes, weeds and grass. I'll lay them around the base of the plant to keep the, the, the soil moist, to keep the soil uh, well fed, etc., etc. Or you can use fertilizer. Uh, as well, use an all purpose uh, organic fertilizer, you know, around your plants. And your plants will do extremely well. This has been the Morning Gardener, folks, and I enjoy each and every one of you. I am here. I'm going to do the best I can to ex express myself and to get that knowledge out. Thank you very much. This has been the Morning Gardener.